G'day from Razliv in the Leningrad Oblast, Russia. In 1917, two revolutions swept through Russia, ending centuries of imperial rule and setting into motion political and social changes that would lead to the formation of the Soviet Union. Join me on a discovery about the significance of this Russian village. This would have been in the day a Soviet bus station, but now it's just dilapidated and falling apart. So we're just entering the, um, the zone or the territory where the museum is located and there's all these beautiful autumn colours. So in 1917, St. Petersburg was known as Petrograd, uh, which then after the Second Revolution, it was changed to Leningrad. And then after the fall of the Soviet Union in 1991, it was voted by the residents to change the name to St. Petersburg. Razliv is a village in the Leningrad Oblast where a monument was created in 1925 after the death of Vladimir Lenin to immortalize the places where the leader of the Bolshevik party hid in July 1917. After the July crisis of 1917, the Bolsheviks were accused of attempting an armed uprising against the provisional government. Party members were arrested. The editorial office and printing house of the Pravda newspaper were destroyed. The Yellow Press published that Vladimir Lenin and some of his fellow party members were German spies and an arrest warrant for Lenin was issued. The leadership of the Bolshevik party decided that Lenin should not be arrested. Since there are no guarantees of his safety in the event of arrest, they hid Lenin outside the city 
but in a place where he could constantly receive operational information about the state of affairs in the capital. The choice fell on the neighbourhood of Sestrorest. Nikolai Yemelyanov, a worker at the Sestrorest arms factory, who lived in the village of Resliv, was instructed to hide Vladimir Lenin along with another party leader, Grigory Zinoviev. Lenin and Zinoviev arrived to Resliv at dawn on July 10. They hid here in Yemelyanov's shed. Yemelyanov arranged their beds, put a table and two chairs. It was not safe to stay in the barn for a long time. There were many summer residents from Petrograd and the Red Guards were being disarmed. Lenin and Zinoviev disguised themselves as Finnish mowers. They were transported to the remote shore of the Lake Resliv, where they settled in a hut right behind me and the shed served as a safe house. So this is the location or ground zero where the second revolution on November 6 and 7, 1917, the re revolutionaries led by Bolshevik party leader Vladimir Lenin executed and launched a nearly bloodless coup against the Duma's provisional government and Lenin called for a Soviet government which paved the way for the rise of communism as an influential political belief system and the union of the Soviet Socialist Republics. Yeah.